uh, in Islam, when we have a valid and like person, uh, if they follow uh, the the majority opinion or the vast majority for their safety, in the eyes of Allah, would that be acceptable as long as it's a valid opinion? MashaAllah, you're saying for safety. So a person is looking for what pleases Allah. His intention is sincere. And he looks for the opinion of the vast majority if it is correct. Of course, that is pleasing to the Almighty Allah. Today, I was going through some of the very beautiful and interesting statements of all the Imams, whether Abu Hanifa or Ahmad ibn Hanbal or Malik or Al Shafi'i. In brief, for the sake of time, each one of them have emphasized the importance of following the reference. You know, they all have the Quran. But some of the hadith did reach this Imam or that Imam. So in brief, they said, إِذَا صَحَّ الْحَدِيثُ فَهُوَ مَذْهَبِي Maybe Imam Abu Hanifa at the time didn't receive a hadith or a reference with regards to a particular mas'ala, al-mas'hu al khuffain for innocence. Later on, it is confirmed. He said, then this is my madhab. So the, those Imams are not founders of different sects. They are founders of schools of fiqh based on the available references. Some masail, issues, they didn't have reference, so they made ishtihad. Later on, Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal or Ibn Taymiyyah or Ibn Qayyim, they put their hands on a sound reference. So that is the madhab. We don't follow a particular madhab and blindly do everything even if it is less right or we know that there is a better opinion and more correct. We follow what is more correct though. Barakallahu feekum.